Hey guys, how are we? Welcome back to this series. Um, yeah, we're just gonna, when, I, when we left last time, we are trying to send the army up over that way. Um, yeah, I think this is, we've got, we've got a little bit left over money. Um, I think maybe we should upgrade this army a little bit. Just a bit of protection, just in case. I don't know, just in case somebody comes and tries to get us, because this is our only settlement, as I've said before, so it's pretty important. Um, yeah, so we're just going to end the turn there. Hopefully nobody, uh, nobody tries, tries anything cheeky, but... Okay, so nobody's really done anything. Um, research is done, organized supply. And we've got a quartermaster's report for the troops we just trained. Um, we're gonna keep sending that army that way. Uh, for technology. Um, it's a toss up between going for military or going for the economic. I think, I think based on where we are, we sort of really do need to go for the um, the army side of the technology tree, just because we've got like, we've got a lot of people around us. Like I mean, they they all like us. Like we got we're allies with them, um, but they're sort of not they're not too sure about us. I don't wanna. There's 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 a fair few people around us, and we're not really we don't really have a foothold. So I think it's I think we have to go for the army technology. So we're going for logistics, which. Uh, it says a warrior needs a weapon and a full belly before a fight. Um, it enables the recruitment of rank one champions and enables the building of infantry tents. So that's that should help us a fair bit. Um, yeah, so they're going they're going up there. We should be able to attack them. Wait, that's one, two, three. Within three turns. Um, yeah, it'll be nice to get rid of them. I, d I don't like having. I don't like being at war with too many people, like we're only at war with them, of course, but um, yeah, the longer a war goes on, the longer everything drags out, it costs more and all that. Um, one thing I was thinking we could do, we could bump up the tax rate, so the people are still at a three public order, so we could, we could do that if we bump it up a little bit more and we get an extra, get an extra nearly 300, oh, but 250 coins a turn, so I think, I think that's that's what we're gonna go for. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all. Uh, I'll check uh, politics. Um, I've noticed that all these people have uh, free promotions, so we can we're just gonna promote all the people that have free promotions. You know, it helps us out. Um, I don't know if this one's free. No, this one's not free. Um, is he free? Yeah, he's free. Um, what about him? He can't up. Uh, that one's free. I'm gonna do that one. Free, but again. Uh, and that one's free too. So I think we've done all the ones that are free. Uh, are we gonna, gonna send him away for education? Um, I think when he comes back, he gets more gravitas. Um, yeah, that's really all we can do for this turn. Oh, actually, one thing I was going to do, I was going to look at our objectives because um, can completely control the following province either by direct ownership or through client states and military allies. Parthia. So that must be oh, so this this one. So we've got to. We gotta eventually attack them. Well, I say eventually in the near future, attack them to complete that objective. Um, we get fifteen hundred coins for that, so that's not that's all right. It's not anything huge, but um, they want us to be at war with Seleucid. Um, where is Seleucid? Oh, they're the. I think they're the people that. Oh wait, I thought they were. 
a client state of I don't know maybe I thought I was pretty sure that these people were I client will be states a patient audience for your speech of sure that you can't oh no. deliver a profitable both, message that one they're at war with Seleucid now so Seleucid must be there I think um, and they're at war with Seleucid so they're both just yeeted out of their um, deeded, deeded their masters so so yeah we have to go to war with them um, we get two and a half thousand coins for that uh, research following technique uh, the following technology logistics 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 is the one we're doing now we should get we get a thousand coins for that so that's alright um, then establish trade relations with the following faction we're going to I think it's Bactria, yeah. We're gonna try and do that straight For away. For the sake of friendship that has been and um, friendship to come, greetings. We don't now, have. Let us seek wisdom together. So we can't. I don't think we can do a trade deal. I don't think we have anything to trade. Yeah, we, I don't think we have anything to trade. So we're gonna. We're gonna need to try and find something. They're importing silk. Uh. So if we take them out, they've got silk. They're producing silk, so we could could do, give um have a trade deal with them, and then they import our silk, and we import something from them. But yeah, we gotta attack them first, and I don't really don't really think that's smart at the moment. Um, military objectives: maintain 180 units in total, and maintain 60 mercenary units. Um, Control either 90 settlements either by direct ownership or through client states and military allies. We have two so far. So I think we've got that one because they're military allies and then this one because that's us. So that's two. Um, then economic victory. Yeah, this control 65 settlements. Um, completely control those six provinces. I think that's the same for... Oh no, they're similar to the ones from before. Maintain trade relations with 15 fra factions. Um, it says we have trade with somebody. I didn't think we did because of, um, oh no, we, we are trading with them. You honor us. There is food we, enough for oh, two armies away. I thought we couldn't trade because we didn't have anything to, like we weren't producing anything. That's why we couldn't trade with Bactria. Be welcome. Um, but I'm not just missing Athena it anymore. us all dumb if Military we speak lines. anything but truth in our deliberations. No, there's nothing there. What about, Aria, uh, can I do a trade deal with them? I don't, I don't know. I don't know why it's not coming up that I can do trade agreements with these people. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, they're just some of the objectives we have. These are all, like all these, like the ultimate objectives there. Nothing's going to happen soon. Um, but yeah, they're all like the end goals, I guess. Um, so yeah, these are the ones where we'll actually do sort of pretty pretty soon. Um, but yeah, I think we're just going to end the turn there. Yeah, it seems like to go. Oh, okay, so Bactria has attacked De Hay, which are our military allies. Um, I think we sort of we sort of need to we need to um join war on the side of De Hay. I mean I don't want to because there's more people to fight, but I think that's the that's what we have to do. So we don't we don't want to lose allies at this at this moment. I'm just gonna have to um make it I'm gonna have to build up the army at uh at our settlement just so it's a bit, bit stronger if somebody does attack. Um path blocked. Yeah, that's not a problem. Encourage populace. Um, yeah, they're happy with the current circumstances. Yep, one growth per turn and two percent tax rate, that's alright. There's alliance. Yeah, it's not really doesn't really evolve us much. So they got their army there. That's got a they're a decent sized army, but they've got a forced march, so every time you attack an army with a forced march, they um they Oh, it's always an ambush, so it makes it a bit easier when it's an ambush. Um, we can't let's actually reach them yet. We're 
just just short of them. But I'm just hoping that if they attack us next turn, we'll get them in support. Because if not, uh, they've got they got a bigger army than us. But I don't know if our army's better. It might be. I'll right, see so if there's any mercenaries in the area. Oh yeah, there's one. So now we've got the same size army. But whether it's we've both got 18 out of 18. Um, but yeah, we don't know all the all the forces they got in there. Yeah, hopefully they um hopefully they don't attack us. Got a bit more time to get some more troops. Um. So I'm thinking we probably need some more troops back here just in case we do get attacked by Bactria. So I'm just going to do enough to do get, get some Parthian horse archers, just enough for this turn. So we go up to 12 units. So I don't want to spend too much money because then upkeep costs and all that. So we're just going to do that. Um, yeah, so this is Bactria over here. I think they... I'm not sure if they... Oh, yeah, they have more than one place. Um, they, have, they did, actually. It's a bit, it's a bit worrying. Um, we wouldn't be able to get peace with them or anything, maybe. To your no. words, and then yeah. Peace. Um, so I'll see if there's anything more to do in here. Um, don't really think there is. Improve relations. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Um, yeah, I think that's about all we can do for this turn. So we're just going to get end turn. But yeah, definitely this turn we'll be attacking that, um, the army of the K people. I mean, if they don't attack us now. So, should be on it. Uh, okay, so our ally has, um, ambushed them. So we're gonna join this. We're gonna join this battle on the side of our ally, um, in the form of reinforcements. So he doesn't have a very strong force. I think he's just gonna hide behind us, and then we'll take the brunt of it. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I guess. Um, oh, we can decline it. No, no, we'll we'll fight this battle. Like we pretty much have the same amount of troops. I think we have about. 180 more than him but why why the balance of power is so much in our like in our favor is because the fact that it's an ambush like they they didn't see us coming so they don't have time to an ambush is get into their um get into their formations so they're like they're still in their marching formations um i think we're where, where is everyone? That's that's our um, allies there. Um, I don't know where we are. I think I think we're this way. Actually, I, I don't think we've. Oh, here we are. Yeah. Okay. We haven't actually joined the battle yet. So now the armies are joining the battle. Um, the enemy's all over there. Oh, they're, they're a fair way away. Our reinforcements have arrived. Um, but yeah, they don't even know we're coming, like, at all. They're just marching. Um, yeah, see, like, he charged in through there. He caused a fair bit of damage. Um, so all our reinforcements are down here. Yeah, so, we're gonna... We're gonna wait for them all to join, like actually join the battle so we can select all of them, I think. Is that all of them? I think that, I think that's all of them. Yeah, so we're gonna go here. I've got a fair way to, fair way to go. As expected though. The horse troops have uh, hooned ahead a little bit, so uh, the other forces are going to have to play a little bit of catch up. That's uh, alright, we'll wait for them to, we'll send them to out here, then just wait for them to wait for the rest of the troops to catch up. Um, I'd like to know what he's doing, I think he's, 
Is he like trying to flank them? Like go around, but like behind them. I was thinking of trying to get them like as they come. Flank look. Um, when they'll come, they'll keep walking, and they should. Have they stopped? No, they're still marching. So I haven't seen this yet. Hopefully they'll keep walking along that way. And we can use this hill to our advantage to come behind and clean them out that way or come over the hill. We could set our um, some of our skirmishes up here. That'd cause a little bit of damage. Um, so yeah, they're still catching up a little bit. I don't wanna, don't wanna attack with like only half my army. Um, oh damn, taking the fair one. Just gonna speed this up a little bit. I'm really hoping uh, our ally doesn't just sit back and let us do all the dirty work. I mean, I know he doesn't have a huge army. He's got he's just got his the army for his commander, like his general's bodyguards. But still hope he uh, helps us a little bit. Oh wait, no, we don't want to do that. My lord. We're gonna drag them, plant them here. I'm a bit worried about how this might go because this, like the balance of the power, if you can see in the bottom left hand corner, it's pretty much got us about 50 50 at the moment. But I know that's it wasn't what it was when we went to go attack them, but it's always. It always drops you a little bit lower when you actually join the battle. Um, yeah, we're just going to wait behind this crest a little bit. Uh, which one's my general? This is my general down here. Um, so yeah, they, they haven't seen us. They're going up. They're actually going over that hill, which is not really what we wanted. We sort of wanted to use that hill as a bit of cover. So we're definitely going to have to wait for them, especially those horse archers, to get off there. Actually, they're all horse archers. Yeah, they're all they're all missile cavalry, I think. I'm guessing the generals at the front. I'm hoping the generals at the front. Pretty sure the general's at the front. Yeah, I think he might be. Can you, oh no, you can't do um, cinematic mode on other people's troops. Uh, so we could we could even use this hill. Don't know, we're gonna have to. I need to see if all my troops are. Are they all there? Yeah, they're all that's Noble horse archers. Th yeah, so that's a general there. We wanna we wanna sort of keep him away from the battle but not entirely. Close enough that we can um uh close enough that we can do like inspire, because that'll help our troops. Um Whistling shot causes less damage, but has a fearsome sound. Adversely affects the morale, melee attack, and firing rate of targets, and any unit they pass over. Um, all the negatives of that is the melee attack shots per minute and damage, so they're all lowered. Um, flaming shot has a greater morale impact, but is less accurate and does less damage, can cause buildings to catch fire. Um, lowers any mor enemy morale and bonus versus buildings. And the bad things are damage, reload time, cannot be used in wet weather. Uh, heavy shot causes greater damage but has shorter range and reduced accuracy. I think we're just going to leave them as normal. Just keep it keep it simple. Um, so we're going to... Noble horse archers! I still don't think they've seen us. Yeah, they're marching. Marching like usual. Um, I think there's there's only a couple units here that aren't 
um, missile units. So it's definitely something we have to watch out for. Uh, I think we just, I think we may just go for it at this stage. If we try and if we whack them here, I'm hoping that keeps them out of range. I don't think it will. I think they might see. We, I don't think we'll be hidden by the hill because there's a little bit of a hill there. But then those troops might see. I'm hoping not, but I reckon they might. Ah, yeah, okay, they have. Because they're all fixing themselves now. Uh, so half their troops have been, they're actually hidden from us. I'm not sure how I should, how I should go about this. Let's get, I'm just going to try and get some of my troops paired together. I want to make like a group for them so that I can use them all together. Um, I don't think they haven't started. They're just getting, they're sort of getting sorted. Um, our ally is still, he's like over there. He's still moving, so that's. That's something he's definitely gonna. He definitely Order, should help us. Um, so we're gonna get these Steers two paired into a group. That's a general. We're gonna keep the general. Hit him a little bit. If we lose the general, it really fucks up with that morale. Makes makes everything that much that much harder. Um, so we've got all the slingers together. We're gonna put them in a group. Um, I think we're gonna get put them in a group. That's three. Let's get some of them in a group. group. Get them all in a group. Together. So now everyone's in a group, but the general. I think they're sort of waiting on us to uh, start marching towards them. So we're going to start. We're going to march towards them a little bit. We're really just spread out in a line. Uh... Ah, oh, damn. I'm just gonna whack the general behind there to sort of hide him a bit. I think he should. Oh no, I don't think he will be. Actually, he might be in range to do inspire from that distance. Oh, okay, there's the. The enemy is attacking our ally. There is our ally. Um. We are at your I think we're gonna. We're gonna go in. We have five attacking Very good in there. I'm gonna send them there. Actually, you wanna get. Our general is under attack. I'm gonna get our general back out a little bit. He's getting a little bit too up close and personal with them. Cinematic mode. Oh, they're still, so they're still firing as they're getting away, that's nice. We like that as commitment. Uh, is there My anyone God. that's taken? They're sort of getting cleaned out a little bit. The men are wavering. Don't know why they're wavering so soon, but that's okay. 
Going forward to so they can do inspire. What are your orders? Blue fire waiting orders from the sky. Our orders. Blue's orders. Stop from the sky. Ready. Missile cavalry at your command. Inspire. We're gonna. We can inspire them. Protect us. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Mm, so they're attacking them. This battle's really not going perfectly for us at the moment. Uh, okay, they're they're running away because they're a little bit cowardly. Um, so So with flanks, some of their men are reouting, but then some of ours are too. An entire unit okay. has perished. You just lost that unit, I just sent them to do stuff and they got cleaned out a little bit. Okay, so the general's routing that unit. That'll help us definitely. But then a lot of our units are routing at the same time. Our men flee the yeah, field of battle. Adding. This is a shameful display. It's not going to plan perfectly. Yeah, they're definitely, they're definitely winning this battle at the moment. Um. And it's, yeah, the balance of power is really, really not too well in our favor. I really need to get used to using, like, bulk cavalry, because normally, I don't really use this much cavalry normally. Okay, the general's died, that's not helping us at all. And then, yeah, that's one of our final units. I, okay. This is our final unit, and they're just they're fleeing too. Our ally has been destroyed. Fuck. <laughs> this this uh, battle really I think unplanned. It was a close defeat. Uh, we lost twelve hundred men, and they only lost eight hundred. <laughs> Fuck. A general um cleaned out a few, got one hundred forty-two kills, but then. Their most was 153. I think we definitely need to... I think we need to lose some of the cavalry. I don't think we need as many cavalry. I think that was our main problem. Um, yeah, but fuck, that was shit. And our general's dead too. So that's, that's even worse. Has it been unlucky? Oh, and they've gone on to capture that settlement. <laughs> so we lost them as a trade ally because they're destroyed. Yep, so our general died. As I said, we needed to get. We need less horse. Less horse troops. Um, if we go there, where I think we'll replenish. No, we don't. Don't worry. Uh, this army's getting pretty big. Probably, yeah, more slingers. Damn, I can't believe we got. You got proper fucked up by them. Um, we're gonna do a new technology. Signaling. Uh, well, considering we don't really have a navy at the moment, we're gonna go for signaling. Actually, we can do one of these too. Um, we're gonna go for this one. It's plus five morale for all land units and enables building of target stands. So we'll do that one. Um, 
Wait, we're gonna go double time you just march. so that your feet bleed. You march again at once. Uh, then when they come back in, they'll be able to replenish. That army really didn't really didn't get messed up that much. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna end the episode there. Um, next episode will definitely be trying to replenish our armies a little bit. Um, maybe attack them if we have enough, like within a couple turns. But yeah, see you next time.